Bahama Jim. Bahama Jim loves Hello, the folks. outdoors. Heading out to Austin T. Blakesley Trail. It's a 2.2 mile hike. I am going to try to catch some fish. I need to try to buy a new tripod because I'm a loser. No. We don't think you're a loser. Although you do lose stuff. <laughs> You're the nature master. I'm nature master. I'll go back to camp this way, and then we'll send help for you. He loves camping and hiking and fishing, especially trout fishing. Oh, and magnet fishing. Where's Casper? He even catches a few from time to time. There are some scenic videos with stunningly gorgeous views and enough waterway sounds to give you the urge to either go to sleep or urinate <laughs> but they're very relaxing so whether you're a fishing aficionado <laughs> fish aficionado I will be using, um, an outdoorsy person who loves seeing nature or other people experiencing nature, Bahama Jim is one to get acquainted with. Check him out. Homesteading with the Black Tinos. <laughs> this Canadian family moved from the city to live the homesteading dream on a larger Let's scale. Let's go take a look. Those really obedient dogs oh, love it no. out there. The snow is deep and really hard to walk in. But the dogs love it. Max! Tiberius, let's go! They're raising no, no. a variety pack of livestock also, like goats and turkeys and chickens and ducks. Huh, <laughs> the ducks. Cool. You can hear them right now. So just the girls today are going to be doing the morning chores. <laughs> It's so funny, these ducks know exactly where to go. Here's Xanthar. Xanthar has trouble walking. The entire family then. The property on homesteading with the Black Chinos, it's large enough for everybody to kind of spread out. Hey guys, so your mom and I are going to be attempting to walk to the back of the forest right now, but she's really scared, so... Uh, I'm scared! Try. You're the one who's going to try. All right, all right. You feel it's kind of deep, right? That's it. You're I'm not sure what's in those woods, but I don't want to find out. And gardening, they grew a 25 foot long pumpkin plant. They're growing lots of other vegetables, also. And then there are a plethora of frugal homestead DIYs to go around. So if you're a homesteading and gardening fan or you're wanting more Canadian neighbors, check out Homesteading with the Black Tinos. The Rustic Caveman. The Rustic Caveman features Chris in the recovery of Appalachian farmland from the backwoods of Ohio. Chris Kimmel and I'm the Rustic Caveman. So we're going to start a series of setting up a base camp. It's about as rural as it can get out there without hearing banjos. Reclaiming a farm is next to impossible without the use of chainsaws and backhoes and other implements. The Rustic Caveman isn't just about playing with the big boy toys though. Here and enjoying a, a nice little sandwich picked up out of Poppy's. It is a croissant. There are also cool building projects and other videos showing the slow but steady transformation of his boyhood family land. So if you want to see... <laughs> no, the rustic caveman. If you want to see how a huge abandoned farm cleanup can happen with just one determined person, you should check out the rustic caveman. Outdoor lifestyle fishing nature lover, multicultural family homesteading, 
Farmstead Reclamation and Rebuilding in Appalachia. Are these your people? 